Hello everyone, Amod here from your target common YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about explicit weight in Selenium WebDriver. Earlier, I have covered implicit weight in Selenium WebDriver. Just to recap about implicit weight, it is a global setting which is applied on finding of every element in the session by default. Default value of implicit weight is 0 seconds. That is, if element is not found immediately, error will be thrown. When we set the value say x seconds, then driver will try to find element up to x seconds before throwing error. The advantage here is that if element is found before x seconds, then driver will not wait further and return the wave element. This weight is applicable for find element and find elements methods. But there might be many more scenarios in which we need to wait for a condition to be satisfied before performing next action. For example, I have a web page with the button create new application. When you click on this, it will add a new row to the table and the initial status will be new. And after some random seconds, the status will be completed. If I click on this button again, it is going to add another row and it will take some different seconds to get the application completed. So basically here we need to wait till the application is completed. Let's see another example. I have another web page with the button change title and when we click on this change title button, it is going to change the title of this web page and it will print what was the old title, new title and how much time it taken to change the title. So let's click on this button. You can see it is trying to change the title and after 4 seconds, it has been changed to new title 3 from initial title. If I click on this change title button again, so it will take another random seconds to change the title. Now you can see it took 3 seconds only. So in this case also, we need to wait till title is changed. Now let's see how can we wait till my condition is satisfied. I am going to launch change title web page in Chrome browser. Once this web page is loaded, I need to locate this web element and perform click on it. So I am going to inspect this element and write some locator. So I am going to write xpath using the text here. So two slashes button text equal to change title. Copy this locator and write Chrome driver dot find element by dot xpath pass the xpath and then perform click. Now I need to wait, but I need to wait till my title is changed. So let's write the logic to wait. So we know that I need to keep checking the title till my title is changed. So for that, I'm going to use any loop. You can use for loop or while loop. I'm going to have a variable of type boolean. Maybe I can name it as flag and I'm going to pass as true. Then let's use while loop, pass the flag. And here inside this while loop, I'm going to get the current title first or basically I should store the current title before performing click on the button. So let me use a string old title chrome driver dot get title. Now I will use another variable new title and after performing click I am going to get the new title which is chrome driver dot get title and I am going to have one if condition if old title equals ignore case new title. If both are same that means title is not changed so obviously i need to try again so if they are not same then i need to break the loop so i'm going to use not operator here that means when they are not same then this if condition will be satisfied and i'm going to set the flag value as false and i'm going to simply print the title let me print the timestamp also so you will see out local date time dot now and same thing after exiting while loop and also i'm going to add chrome driver dot quit let me run the program so program is terminated and if you see the console, it started waiting from 57.59 and ended after 8 seconds. So it took 8 seconds to change the title and then it printed the new title and closed the browser. So basically this logic is serving our purpose. But this is not that much optimal. Suppose we have some application bug and it is not changing the title. Then your while loop will go to infinity, which is not good practice. Point number two, here it is checking for the condition continuously without any interval. But suppose you have a lot of logic in the while loop, it might raise some performance issues. 
Point number three. During this condition checking, we might expect some exception, but we need to ignore that and we need to go for the next retry. Obviously, all these points can be easily incorporated with this logic, but instead of writing this much thing, we have some built in class in Selenium WebDriver, which we can use to achieve explicit weight in Selenium. Why this is called explicit weight? Because here we are waiting for some specific conditions. Selenium WebDriver provides a class WebDriver weight. So press shift twice and type WebDriver weight. You can see this WebDriver weight is a class which is extending another class fluent weight. And if you go to fluent weight class, it is implementing another interface called weight. But before that, you need to see that this fluent weight class is a generic class and this weight interface is also a generic interface which contains only one method until. This until method takes argument of type function. Let's go to this function because this is the critical part of explicit weight. This function interface is a functional interface which will have only one abstract method which is apply here. So this apply method will take argument of type t and return r type. And if you see this fluent weight class, this class is implementing the until method. And basically this method will check for the condition and based on the result, it is going to return you the value. WebDriver weight is the specific implementation of this fluent weight because this WebDriver weight is passing the type WebDriver to the fluent weight. And in the fluent weight class, we have methods like with timeout, with message, polling every ignore all. So all these methods will be available in WebDriver wait. Now let's see how can we use WebDriver wait in our scenario. So let's comment all these lines and create an object of WebDriver wait. So WebDriver wait has overloaded constructors and I'm going to use the first one where it is taking one WebDriver and duration. So I have the WebDriver reference which is my Chrome driver and I need to pass the duration. So we have a class called duration and here we have some static methods like of seconds. We can use some other units also. So I am going to wait maximum for 30 seconds. So what we have done as part of this constructor. So basically when we create an object of WebDriver wait by passing my driver object and some duration, it means it is going to wait for maximum 30 seconds for this driver session for a condition which I will show you now and here I have a method until we know that from weight interface it is coming to full weight weight and then it is coming to web driver weight so use until and here it is expecting an argument of type function and here you need to understand functional interface and anonymous inner class with some basic lambda expression knowledge of java so we know that function is a functional interface with one method apply so let's create a class and implement this interface. So here I have created a class wait for title and I'm going to implement function functional interface which is coming from java.util. Don't import it from google.common and this function interface is a generic interface which is taking two parameters t and r. t will be the type of input to the function and r will be the type of results of the function. So here I'm going to pass WebDriver and I'm expecting a Boolean. Since I am implementing an interface, so obviously I need to provide the implementation of struct methods. So click on this red bulb and click on implement methods and select apply and click on OK. So this function interface has only one abstract method. That's why it is functional interface, but it can have default methods. That's fine. So you can see this apply method automatically considered the types we passed while implementing this interface. Now here I need to write the logic. So first thing I need to get the current title. So I'm going to use one variable of type string and name I will give current title equal to webdriver dot get title and I need to compare this title with the old title. So I need to change my explicit weight example class also. So instead of this local old title variable, I am going to create a public static old title. Why I am doing this because in this wait for title class, I can use current title dot equals ignore case and let me call explicit 
with example dot old title and I need to keep trying till my old title and current title are are not equal. So I'm going to use return statement and put the not operator and go to explicit wait example dot Java and here for the until method just create an object of your class which is new wait for title and don't do anything because internally this until method will call the apply method. Let's go to the implementation of this method. If you see here, it is calling apply method and it is checking the condition and it will keep trying for the condition till it is true or we exceed this 30 seconds or whatever you pass. Let me put the timestamps here and here and let me print the title as well. Let me quickly run the program and see what happens now. So you can see it took some two seconds to change the title. But we have some built-in conditions also, which is in expected conditions class, which I will cover in the next video. Here we created a new class just to implement this function. And if you have multiple conditions, then we cannot keep creating classes. In this case, we can use lambda expressions with the anonymous class concept. This is purely Java. So let's read at the same logic without a new class. So use webdriver wait dot until. So use chrome driver and then use arrow function use curly braces and string current title equal to chrome driver dot get title and return current title equals ignore case and we have a variable so explicit wait example dot old title and I need to use not operator and give the semicolon at the end. It is showing the error it says that variable chrome driver is already defined in the scope so actually here we have created a chrome driver object with the same name. So here we can simply pass C driver. This is just the variable name in which the actual driver object will be stored. And here we need to use C driver. And if I run the program, it will behave in the same way. So here you can see it took 10 seconds to change the title and it waited well and continued as soon as condition is satisfied. It didn't wait for extra 20 seconds. Now let's see what happens when the condition is not satisfied. For that, I'm going to comment this line where I'm clicking on the change title button. If I don't click, my title will remain same. Now if I run the program, let's see what happens. So program is terminated, project is not closed and if you come to console and see it says that we have got some timeout exception saying expected condition failed. Write for 30 seconds with 500 milliseconds interval. So it waited for 30 seconds because that is the duration we have set in the webdriver wait object and uh, it tried every 500 milliseconds interval which we can change and if the condition is not satisfied it is going to give you timeout exception with this expected condition failed message. So this is the basic of explicit wait and how can we create our own conditions to wait for but we have many other points where I need to cover the expected conditions class, how can we change the polling interval and how can we ignore some expected exceptions. Those things will be covered in the next video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.